Okay, so rough sketch. Okay, so we got the end behavior. And so um, odd, odd means that we are going opposite, right? So the left end behavior must be down and up. All right, so we know we're down up. All right, I'm just going to give myself a little Cartesian plane. And I am going to do the y-intercept, which is pretty easy, right? The y-intercept, so when x is 0, y is 1, right? So I know I have that point. And from there, I'm just going to do a little simplistic xy chart. Let's do f of negative 1. So I'm just looking at the function. This is a negative 1, so that's a negative 2, plus 1 is a negative 1, plus 1 is a 0, plus 1 is a 1. f of negative 1 is 1. So I'm there. Okay, um, I could do f of negative 2 if I want. And negative 2 is, I think, negative 9, which is good, what I expect on the end behavior. I thought, you know what, let me just do negative a half or negative 0.5 just to get what's going on in between these. And I get 1.5. And I'm happy with that. And then I did f of 1. And f of 1 yielded 4. And I determined that the function must be something like this. How's it looking, Wyatt? <laughs> okay. How many zeros do we have? One. So, and we know this value here is negative one. We know at, it's not drawn well, but out here is negative two because negative 2 is heading toward that negative 9, right? So now, tangent line. And uh, the look on this one, it, my negative 2 is probably a little bit too far out. I'm just going to move it a little bit. So we need to come up with a value for x sub 1. And just to keep from driving myself crazy with values that I don't have, I went with negative 1.7. So we had to sketch it to get x sub 1. My first thought was, and the book does a chart, I'm not doing a chart. You know what? Do a chart. So n is the first column. The columns need to be broader as we go. x sub n is the second column. f of x sub n is the third f prime of x of n is the fourth. f of x of n divided by f prime of x of n is the next to finally get us to where we want to be, which is x of n minus f of x of n divided by f prime of x of n. This is what we're after. So these are our iterations. So we're going to start our first iteration. 
and we're going to use negative 1.7. All right, so what I'd like you guys to do, and I'm going to pause the video here so we're on a time with dead screen. What I'd like you to do now is see if you can get these values with your calculator. All right, before we do that, we also need the uh, derivative, right? So let's figure out the function, the derivative function, right? Which is easy on this one. I think you all are good on getting the derivative, right? We're just using uh, what? Power rule, 6x squared plus 2x minus 1, right? Is the derivative. So that's f of, f prime of x. Okay, now go ahead and hit the data so you can go all the way through. Oh, and we are going to five decimal places, five decimal places. So you're going to give everything the five decimal places. Second value, 12.94, right? I think it ended there. So then when you, when you divided them, negative 0.32736. Going to let you finish. Get that last value. So in our second iteration, what is now x of n? What do you what do you now put in for x of n? Yeah, that's the key to what we're doing. So the negative one point three seven two six four is your now your x of n. And so th again, you definitely want to store that, right? You want to know how to use your memory. You want to put that in your memory, and now. Again, you got to sub it into the original. You got to sub it into the derivative. You got to then divide the original by the derivative. Then you got to do this minus this. And you might say, well, I'm just going to do it all at once in my calculator. Yeah, okay, good luck with that. Yeah, I tried that. Yeah, good luck with that. Uh, you're better off this way. Plus, if we're trying to see if you guys are doing things right, <laughs> If you have the right numbers in some places, we'll at least know that you're you're at least thinking correctly. I just need you get just a little practice. We're not going to do all the other iterations because it's time consuming. Are we there? Are we within 0 0.0001? And the answer is no, because look at these two values. And try to do this help Lexi, right? We're looking at these two values. Are they within 0 0.0001 of each other? And the answer is no. So we're not there yet. We're not there yet. So we need a third iteration. And so again, we know we're going to use negative 1.25151. And trust me, when we're done, we're going to get negative 1.234. One. I don't know why I'm one digit shy on that. Probably because I, I missed it when I looked. No matter. Are we within point oh 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 one yet? No. We need a fourth iteration. And when we're done with that fourth iteration, we're going to get negative one point two three three. Seven five. We're getting close now to point oh 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 one, but we're not there yet. We need a fifth iteration, and guess what? The fifth iteration yields negative one point two three three seven five, and we're there, and therefore. C equals, or C approximates, negative 
meaning that intercept is negative 1.23375 approximately. And if you need to be more accurate, you can go to more decimal places and do more iterations. The, the, look, here's the reality, right? This is calculus. How could you get exactly there? How could you get exactly the point? Do how many iterations to hit the point? Calculus. Do how many iterations to hit the exact point? Right? Infinity. Take it to the limit. Right? If you go to infinity, if you do an infinite number of iterations, you will be exactly at C. All right, we're just getting close right now. Newton's method, a means to get close to that zero. The book does this example. The book starts with 1.4. And honestly, when I, with my sketching, I'm like, there's no way you're going to guess that that tangent line is coming down to 1.4. That was too close. And I thought, no, let me use a further away value, see what happens. And I think the book used five iterations, even with 1.4 to get within 0 0.0001. We started at negative 1.7 instead, because I thought that was more reasonable with what my sketch gave me. And you'll get to the same place as well. So this is Newton's method. And we'll continue talking about it tomorrow.